specifically the State Department. The State Department has a international communications and information policy group that represents the U.S. in this subject abroad. Well, I'm a Jefferson Science Fellow, which means that I'm normally a professor at Dartmouth College, and I have a year uh, sabbatical. I came to Washington, and my particular expertise is in fiber optics and lasers. And I was interested in learning the policy side of the hardware that underlies the Internet. that it will eventually reach everybody and um, I'm working very hard and as is our part of the government on extending the internet to the third world to to Africa in particular. Well certainly the fear is that crime uh, and basically crime will take over the internet. There's uh, sort of one of the thoughts about the internet from the very beginning was it's a, a vast amount of information but it's a little like a garbage dump. Just It's all out there. And clearly uh, some information is more valuable than others. But value is in the eye of the beholder. And there used to be a time when and there still is to some extent uh, a belief that certain organizations and institutions could determine what was important and put that prominent on the internet. For example, uh, we all find stuff through Google and if Google starts monkeying around with who gets listed up near the top because they're helping provide advertising for Google, uh, that was going to totally change the complexion of the internet because if you've got a business unless you get one of the top ten listings in Google nobody's ever going to know about your business and so there is a fear not only that organized crime but but organized commerce if it's not quote transparent uh, can change the complexion of these things now if it's transparent and say they find out that Google is in fact putting up near the top only those that advertise well, then a new search engine will come along and a lot of folks will go to it. So given the open architecture and the, and the rules to make it open, uh, presumably a business that is not doing it the way they say they are will not last. And that's where this issue of transparency is so important. And if it ceases to be transparent, then you, I can't trust it. I mean, I have my own interests. They're not the interests of the average American. I'm not interested in going to Disney World or, or seeing information that has been uh, massaged. I don't watch uh, cable television for, for that reason. I would like to see the, the raw data itself. And I fear that the internet might turn out to be like cable television where you can only get certain stations and not others. Well, controversial right now is the whole issue of what's called net neutrality. And are all bits the same? Should everybody be allowed uh, equal access to, to as many bits as they want? should we have to pay for bits and if there's too many bits flowing does the whole internet slow down equally or, or your pipes slow down equally or should you be able to pay for faster service sort of the toll road versus the, the public road that's that's a real debate now and what was interesting about this particular meeting is they had all the business folks in one room saying we need to control the internet so that doesn't happen and we had all of the techies in the next room saying we have to have an open, um, free and neutral um, net, and the two just weren't talking. <laughs> and that's a real debate going on right now. Well, I have to say that to me this is very exciting. I just, because you're doing it, I got my PhD in 1965 and I was the second PhD in the field of lasers. 
and I don't know if you know, but lasers and fiber optics are the underpinnings of the internet. So without the research that I won't say my personally was doing, but the, the research that my field was doing, we wouldn't have this internet. Because ultimately, those cables that go under the ocean, they all are using laser light to send the bits. And so I feel a personal involvement from that point of view. So it's very exciting to see what's happening. I want two words, anytime, any place.